Today we will be showcasing the abilities of Lattice Gear's Flip Scribe Cleaving Tool. The wafer we are cleaving is a patterned 4 inch silicon 111 orientation. This cleaving tool is novel in how it scribes the wafer. With the scriber embedded in the base of the tool, scribes are made on the back side of the wafer. This will preserve pattern material on the top side while placing a precise scribe underneath. With the wafer flat rotated to the bottom, the first scribe is done by hand in the vertical direction. This is a favorable cleave plane and typically produces a straight edge. Once the wafer has been reduced, the flip scribe's sample holders can be used to keep these pieces secure as we reduce it further. To make the horizontal cleave, we will use the flip scribe for the initial scribe. We find loading samples in the holder on the flip scribe platform provides better control while making the scribe. Before placing a scribe on the wafer, the scribing tip should be cleaned and have the height and orientation set. A stereo microscope can help with this, but is not necessary to use the flip scribe successfully. With the scribe set, we will now align the guides to the location we wish to scribe. Using the stereoscope, locate the location you wish to place the scribe and align it to the scribe tip. For this example, we are using the lines between the dies patterned. Once aligned, lock the guide bar into place. The backside scribe will be made across the hole of the wafer. Press the wafer holder firmly on the sides while having a finger on the top white bar. Then slowly slide along the platform using the guide bar to keep the scribe straight. The sample should easily glide over the scribe tip and an audible slight scratching should be heard over most of the scribe length. We have seen the best cleaves come from scribes made with only one pass and that are not too deep. This is dependent on the thickness of the wafer and depends on your use case. With the first scribe made, Use the lattice gear precision cleaving pliers to cleave the wafer. We will continue to reduce the size of the wafer until we have the individual die. We will use the flip scribe to continue scribing the back side of these strips. While this strip is on the flip scribe, we will make multiple scribes. This will save time and keep the lines parallel. Once all scribes have been made on the strip, use the lattice gear precision cleaving pliers to separate the die. This concludes our demonstration of the flip scribe precision cleaving tool, reducing silicon 111 oriented wafers. Thank you for joining us.